Buford is training to climb Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa this January. He is a quadruple amputee, and Fox Eyes Doug Evans has his inspiring story. If you or I were to climb Stone Mountain, we'd simply lace up our shoes. Well, Maynard must be a bit more creative than that. The quadruple amputee is in training to climb Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa this January. A first for him, a first for anyone with his disability. He and a team are at Stone Mountain today, good. training and experimenting, like trying out sections of bike tires taped to his body. Today, um, we've got um, basically a foam layer underneath here with um, a mountain bike tire and Gorilla Tape holding this thing together. So it's, um, you know, it, that's my attitude is is keep it simple. It's not simple though. It's grueling work getting up the side of the mountain. I wish I could do what he's doing. But even the smallest failure of equipment or training or technique today is an important lesson, according to Kyle's expedition leader. It's a good judge of how Kyle can move on this type of terrain. It's very similar to the terrain that he'll be uh, encountering on Kilimanjaro. So all of the, everything that we do is a positive. It also helps with you know conditioning and uh, how we work as a team and, and how we problem solve. This is um, you know going to be um, 19,340 feet. It's uh, uh, it's it's going to be it's going to be a bear, but I think it's going to be just because of that. It's going to be an incredible experience. It's going to go in and just even help you know further just uh, you know teach me about life, about who I am, and it just I think that that's what it's about it's seeking that advancement, that growth. Yeah, and I have so many people that be saying that they can't do this, and I want to show them that if you can do it, anybody can do it. And that is Kyle Maynard's life mission to show what he and others with disabilities can do. He was born without full limbs. The Buford native has written a book about his life journey, which included high school wrestling on one of the best teams in the southeast. He's also climbing Kilimanjaro to raise money for children in Africa with disabilities. It's going to be a huge... Um huge opportunity to be able to go and work with these kids and just show them that, you know, that their dreams are, are possible too, that, you know, even though people might tell them that they can't go and do something in their life, just to go and show them that they're capable of it. It might not be climbing Kilimanjaro, but there's there's something that we all dream about, right? At Stone Mountain. Think they'll be able to catch us? Doug Evans, Fox 5 News. I don't think so. Wow, how inspiring is that? Kyle is working with a special group called Mission Kilimanjaro. The climb will also include wounded veterans. To learn more about the expedition, and their efforts to raise money for children with disabilities, go to our website, myfoxatlanta.com. You know, we can't complain about anything, can we? Yeah, I hardly even know what to say. I'm mm. so moved by that. And, mm -hmm. you know, his attitude is just so yeah. phenomenal. Wow. I hope we're there. I hope we see yeah, I hope so <laughs> We have too. to follow that story. Because a lot yes. of able-bodied people haven't been able to yeah. do Kilimanjaro. Best well. of luck to you. Mm -hmm. All right. Ken